It's Ray Pollock of the Pollock Report here at Churchill Downs, where 45 years ago, Dancer's Image was disqualified from a win in the Kentucky Derby for a positive drug test. Enhanced security is in the news a lot recently. This week, Senator Tom Udall of New Mexico is introducing legislation that would put federal, federal regulatory action in place over horse racing involving the United States Anti-Doping Agency. The, anti, the US ADA handles drug testing and regulations for a lot of uh, human sports, such as cycling, uh, US Olympic teams, and that sort of thing. Um, this week, uh, Churchill Downs, working with the Kentucky State Racing Commission, has enhanced security in the barn area of Churchill Downs. Jefferson County Sheriff's uh, Department is placing officers in the, in the stall of every derby starter. They're logging all the visitors that go in to see the horse. They're asking them what they're doing. They're taking syringes from veterinarians and writing down all procedures the veterinarians are doing. And this is all done for one purpose and that's to instill confidence that the Kentucky Derby will be a clean and fair race. I really like the, the extended security all the way. I think that uh, uh, it has to give the public a sense of uh, that we're trying to do the right thing. I, think, I don't think that any of my colleagues or any owners or even have any idea of taking advantage, but it gives the public a, a perception that at least we're doing the right thing. Well, as you can see right behind me, the uh, Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies are with every derby horse, uh, so they're under 24-hour surveillance, and uh, I have to log in, I have to report what I'm doing, they watch what I'm doing, and then I have to log out. In the past, you know, we had people that were probably involved in some of that security measures. Uh, I go back to the Breeders' Cup at Belmont when we had that barn, where a lot of it was just, you know, we'd bring our grain in right. and they say, you can't feed this, you know, and stuff like that. But we're getting a lot right. more polished with it. Is there any burden on the horsemen at all? As far as oh, I don't think so. No, I don't even go down there with them. Yeah. I just tell my assistant, you know, uh, this guy wants to draw blood, go ahead and draw it. Yeah. Well, they're just trying to uh, give a better public image of our sport. And so they're trying to make the visibility back here of, of extra security to, to give our image a boost. We need a boost. Yeah. Now, obviously, being a private practitioner, I'm not party to that part of the commission's decisions. Uh, but so far, what I'm seeing, I'm very glad they're doing it. And is this any kind of a burden on, on what the vets are doing? It takes time, but no, it's, it's worth it for the public trust. The end result of all this extra security is the public can have confidence that the winner of the Kentucky Derby on Saturday will be the horse that has the most natural ability.